Hi there and welcome back to Tormund Tides of Numenera. We'll talk to the Murden Chief now, as we have the experience he seeks, and he will give us the standard he took, which will get us in Atagio's good spirits, I hope. The Chief's mental static buzz is in your head, and again the female human at his side translates his words. I have a hauntry essence. I will give you the sensation of hunting prey from the air, just as you asked. The chief blinks at you for a long, slow moment, as if trying to absorb what you have just said. He obviously can't believe that a human would keep his word. He snatches the proffered essence from your hand, uncorks it and tilts the heavy swallow into his mouth. His avian eyes widen as the drug hits his system, and his beak opens and closes involuntarily. The other Murdens grasp their weapons, looking at each other, unsure of what to do. The translator's voice changes pitch again, rising and falling through pitch, though never dropping the monotone delivery. Is human poison, chief? Chief alive? Near dead? Kill human? Kill? Kill? A burst of static from the chief clears the air. The rest of them sees their restless, aggressive movement. The chief looks at you with respect and bobs his head. He presses the standard of Ataglius Irregulus into your hands. Take dirty cloth to drink, man. You complete bargain. Peace. Leave our nest now. Farewell. Yeah, maybe we won't talk to him. And why should we tell him that the prisoners are gone? Why? I have I see no reason. If we wanted to fight him and his goons. Then maybe, but like that, no. I'm going. Let us return. And we should really find a way to die somewhere. <laughs> All this experience going to waste. Yes. Well, maybe, maybe they have something new to say too. Then the Sundermans. Are we here? Uh, what would happen if, hypothetically, of course, I were to kill you? To kill me? Scarthos, the old man didn't tell me about this. <laughs> would the older version of you just disappear? This whole shop cease to exist, or would it be impossible to do? Sunderman says, I don't know, I never thought about it before. He backs away. Would you even ask something like that? And thoughts, no, I'll be okay, right? Because the old man is still here, this probably happened to him already. Just curious, don't worry, I wouldn't actually do it. Right, I knew that. <laughs> He swallows hard and edges farther away from you. As kind of ha, I knew I'd be okay, I knew it. Maybe I'm not ready for this adventure after all. Isn't it strange to be apprenticed to your older self? So he told you, huh? At first I thought the old man was just telling tall tales, but I believe him now. He knew too much about me to be anybody but my older self. How do you feel about it, knowing you're going to be swallowed by a maw and end up in another world? It terrified me for a while, but now I think it's great. I mean, not only do I know I'm going to have an amazing adventure, I know for sure I'm going to live through it just fine. I can see what's going to happen to me in the future. I know my fate, and that's incredibly comforting. As for the apprenticeship, well, who could teach me better than myself? And thought, I wish the old man would tell me more. Will I learn to fight, meet a girl? I want to know. All right. And you here? Back for more, I see. You could blame you. All our products are crafted from the most unique bloom flesh we can find. That's some more questions. Ask away. Ah, uh, okay. Nothing much. Let's go. Let's go. And talk to Jont. That's what we want. Could give him the flag so he can... Uh, 
Okay. Let's just give Ataglio that thing. You again, it takes a swallow of his vile smelling drink. I think you're missing something. Give him back the company's standard. Conversations around the slump die down. Ataglio's soldiers look at you, each other at their commander, and that the standard that Ataglio takes from you and unfurls. He unfolds it reverently, momentarily taking his eyes from the moor. Standard is stained from the Merlin's trash heap, bloody and torn, but he holds it as if it were an infant. His face and voice clo lose their iron ironic, cynical edge. I'm in your debt, Castoff. Truly I am. Name your price. Scan thoughts by the gods. I never thought I'd see this again. Never imagined I'd care either. Uh, just take it. It's okay. You've helped us. Besides, you're one of those, are you? Shiny, synth-steel armor, nobility dripping from every orifice. The work is its own reward type. Let me give you some free advice. When someone offers you repayment for a dangerous task, accept. Self-satisfaction -satisf doesn't spend. He takes another swig from his mug. And thought, whatever she says, she'll be back. No one walks from a reward. Hmm. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Farewell. I mean, we can reconsider. Ah, uh, now. We'll go to little Niliesh and find Tybeer's acquaintance. Was it called Ami of Ovinye? Let's ask around. Oh, he doesn't know. Maybe that that Quersimian knows. Maybe it's one door actually. Maybe Krimper knows something. Maybe it's one door. Hello again, Adan. He says with real pleasure, his grin crackles across his stony face. Oh, no, no, it's not... It's not him. Of course. Could ask Garkoto. All right. Hello. to go on here. Delny. And more that's now open. Maybe Delny knows something? Of course. Maybe that mutant here standing there. Nilius is not for your kind. Destroyed my damned house. Get the construct again. Of course. We'll try to ask Tyver again very soon. Or is Ein Tozon the man? And Tozon doesn't welcome you with his rolling golden words this time. He merely nods in greeting. Still a touch of the hypnotic calm rolls over you. Is your moor still hungry? No, he says, shifting uncomfortably. To be honest, we are rather stuffed. Scanthorpe's a little bloated too. 
Would you like to feed on any more of my relationships? Thank you, but no. We're quite full, both of us. Okay. We're in here something now, someone. A strange thing here. Yes, now. Not at all. With alacrity. Oh Tybia. What could we do now? Talk to him. War makes villains of us all. But what Herja did. And thought what we all did. He spreads his hands as if trying to hold something foul at bay. Like looking in a mirror, wasn't it? No. Enough moralizing. Javier, we all do what we need to survive in this world. No. Didn't do that for survival. Fooled by a pretty face, were you? I'm following you, aren't I, he winks. Mm. Where do you think Owenye is now? That. Somewhere in this place, he says. Staring around little Niliesh with a hint of desperation. Wizardly stealing himself, he touches the ring with his opposing hand. Old pain, he gasps, digging in stinking trash. Hunger. He jerks his hand away as though burned. Something's wrong. He feels different. My god, it's Crimper. <laughs> How are you holding up? Everything okay? I'm fine, lass. I, I just hope you won't regret our friendship when the time comes to part ways. Tiber stretches. Good, as it's Crimper. Allow me. Glad to see you, child. Always a pleasure. May the heaps yield their best treasures to you. Have you seen a ring like my friend is wearing? Blinking? Mouth working silently, Tybia proffers his hand, clearly at a loss. Yeah, yeah, Crimper says, glancing at Tybia's ring, he rummages within his filthy rags. I have one just like it. He holds it up between, pinched between two claws. It's absolutely identical. A tall man dropped it in a pile of butcher's leavings a few weeks back. Chuckles, eclipsing Tybia's pain sigh, brush his hands off like he'd handled something awful. Filthy man mimes the motion, rubbing his hands fretfully on his greasy clothing, then cackles. <laughs> That's it, Tavis says heavily. You got tired of looking for me and dumped the ring with our friend here. It offers you an unconvincing grin. It's better this way. I'm glad it's he's clear of this place. Glad he's gone. Gone? Crimper says puzzled. He's not gone. I saw him this morning, waiting his turn at the shrine of Great Celia. The old man looks between the two of you pointedly, clutching his treasures close to his narrow chest. Maybe he's still here. Let's go find him, Tybia. All right, Tybia says, massaging his hand. Whatever you're ready. Whenever you're ready, lass. Doesn't matter if he spits in my face and storms off. At least I'll know I tried. He glances over at Orvinia's lost ring and the old man tucks it protectively back into his rags with a suspicious scowl. Tybia's mouth quirks, but he leaves the scavenger to his treasure. The music box. Yeah, 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 the music box. He wants to sell it, but he won't sell it to us. So the Shrine of Chilla is in, I think, here. Following these traces. Yeah, here, 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 here.
Great chiller again. Is this the man? Jagged antlers twist from this blue skinned mutant's temples. Permanent creases shape his face, revealing a history of skulls and grimaces. His glance slices past you to Tybia and then to the ring on Tybia's hand. He tenses. Scanthal's kissed. Matches the one from that tall boy. I had a feeling you were coming for me sooner or later, he says, lips twisting. I never should have put that ring on. Twisted, his twisted hand creeps towards a crude dagger on his belt. Bullying a little girl wasn't enough for you, yeah? Gonna finish the work your friend started? Tyvin looks at his hand, then to you, confused. You turn your attention back to the mutant. You aren't a win, yeah? That his name? No, I ain't. Drops his hand back to his side. I'm a thief. And I ain't nothing like what people would call a nice man. But I ain't no a win, yeah, either. It's on the ground. It's like this. Kelsey has these headaches, like I did at her age. The only thing that helped her sleep was that singing wall. He looks between your blank faces and his brow furrows. There was something buried in it. Sounded like voices humming together. Expression darkens. And a few weeks back your man came in. Put her to the side, knocked a hole in the wall and took the thing out. He scowls. She begged him to leave it. And he ignored her and took her singing wall away. And thoughts. She still cries herself to sleep. It's to sleep at all, poor girl. Is that the song box from that mutant? No, Tiber snarls, turning on the mutant. You're lying. Owen, you wouldn't do that. Listen to the man, Tiber. Maybe he knows where Owen is now. The mutant is staring at Tiber, troubled. Scan thoughts. Why wouldn't he do that? Every man fights for himself down here. I ain't lying. After I came home and found Kelsey weeping, I went after your man. Caught him alone and maybe he saw my daughter in me because he told me he was sorry and that he took her music away because he was doing dirty work to help a friend. As Tybia, not that. That excuses anything, but he might have been telling the truth. After I put the ring on, I heard laughing. Why I dropped it and stand the feel of that voice in my head. And he? What gave you the ring as compensation, Tybia says, hands balled into fists. I mean, the mutant blinks. No, I took it off his hand before I dumped the body, he says. <sighs> oh. <sighs> Put out a hand to stop him. A second later, Tybia slams into your outstretched arm. Can we hold him back? Aren't you listening? This man's a father. Doesn't make his life worth a damn thing, Tybia says, avoiding your gaze. I shouldn't know. Something flickers in his eyes. Hold him back. Maybe it's easier now. It can only go 60%. Let's hope we can do it. No. You hurl yourself against Tybia, but in his rage his strength surpasses yours. He pushes you to the side and lunges at the mutant. Bagman stumbles, falls and raises his hands to plead for his life. Tybia reaches past them and snaps the mutant's neck. Oh, Tybia. There. Tybia pants, fingers flexing. Now let's have, let's go have words with Dracogan. Scan thought it was Dracogan laughing, the bastard knew. Oh, Tybia. Oh, goodness. It was done in anger, though. Yeah, let's go speak to Dracogan, I guess. And that man was a killer. I kind of deserved that fate. In this world, then. And we would have liked to not to that for that to not happen. Ready. Um but I, we have a hunch that something could happen here too. 
Something that could help us with drag again, maybe. Okay, not so much then. Return to drag again now, though. That's the. That's the way. I think we'll talk to him in the next episode because I need a pause. My, my voice has grown hoarse. Thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. This is Immanuel Kahn signing out. Have a great time until next time and happy gaming. See you soon, my friends.